I'm not dead! Hello everybody, my name is Vancetron. And before this video starts, I feel like I owe you an explanation. Um, see, I haven't put out a video in three weeks, not because I haven't made one, or because I haven't wanted to. I've been on a personal trip uh, back to my hometown of Beaver Creek, Ohio. Basically, for a little bit of backstory, I was born in Ohio, and about two or three years ago, I moved to Utah, where I currently reside. And every year, I go back and visit friends and family. So that's where I've been for the past three weeks. And, uh, yeah, I am super excited to get back to making content for you guys, but I feel like I have one more announcement. I am going to be starting a what I believe is a full-time job soon, since this does not support me yet. Uh, so after the 26th of this month, which is when I turn 18, um, I'll be starting a new job, an actual job. Um, and not to say that YouTube is an actual job, but I won't be able to put out videos every day like I want to. But I'll uh, certainly try and get out videos as much as I can. Uh, having said that, where I'm working will give me some technical prowess um, so I can better edit videos and work with a computer. And that's another thing, I forgot about that. My computer is giving me loads of problems, so there may come a time where I have to send my computer in so there won't be any videos for a pretty lengthy period of time, I feel. Uh, because there's a lot of keys that aren't even working on my keyboard. Left shift. Z, uh, B, and spacebar, very important one. Enter, up, down arrows, and the asterisk and minus sign on the number pad. None of those keys are even functioning. Uh, they've been flaky, they've been popping in and out, uh, but they just stopped working while I was on my trip, oddly enough. Um, also, my computer doesn't. The fans need to be cleaned, and there's actually something wrong with the left fan. It's not working properly, so part of my computer's heating up. And the list goes on and on. Oh yeah, the headphone jack is still messed up. Uh, my disk drive um, can read disk uh, can read uh, CD-ROMs and act like video games. But for some reason, it won't play DVDs, and that's something that when I go on long trips, I like to have, since I don't have a DVD player. So I am going to have to get the sent in and have it completely repaired. But, at that point, it might be cheaper just to get a desktop. You heard me. I'm going to look into pricing, and it's very possible. Well, first off, I'm remodeling my entire room. I'm getting a new desk, new entertainment center. I'm redoing my entire room, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, so I gotta get a new desk. But, I'm gonna look into this pricing and get, and I'm looking at getting a full blown, really good gaming desktop with dual monitors, which will make my life exponentially easier for making videos for you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So I do apologize for not getting out some sort of a video explaining where I was, if, why there wasn't going to be a video for a while. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And you know what? We're going to start off with a bang right here. Not looking forward to it. So, let's get into it. Hello, everybody. Uh, I said I wanted to start off with a bang, and I guess... I mean, this isn't really a bang, it's been out for a while, but I thought, you know what, they just released a new update in January. Uh, I think January was, like, all the bug fixes, but December was the update itself, Upbeat Giraffe, and it's the first update in almost a year, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is Starbound, um, and I'm playing Starbound because I still... I'm not able to get test pack pleasing order to work, so unfortunately that series is also going to be cancelled, which sucks. I hate having to cancel on series. Dead Space 3, I had to cancel because I thought it ruined the experience way too much if I recorded it and showed it to you guys. For me, it just ruins my experience and I think it ruins your guys' experience uh, because it receives 
more dirt than it really deserves. It's actually a very well made game. Sure it does have its out in the open parts where it's not that scary, but it's still a pretty horror game. It's got its close quarters combat. It's I actually highly recommend it, to be quite honest. Um, I have played the second one, so I'll I've played bits of the first one. The first one scared me beyond belief, and that's why I haven't finished it. The second one I have completed, so you know, I know what to expect out of the Dead Space series. And I think that maybe it was a little subpar, but it's I think it's a little different. Cave story. Never have been able to get past the final cave, and it irritates me. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Crooked Man, I've not given up on. That series is not canceled yet. I'm still trying to beat the Crooked Man. But I'm having to give up on Test Pack Please Ignore. And that does kind of bug me. I hate having to cancel a series. Dead Space was for a good reason, but for Test Pack Please Ignore, it's work bullshit. So, we're going to play some Starbound. It's pretty technical. And it's pretty adventure based. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It's been, a, it's been a long time since I played it. From what I understand, they've completely rechanged everything. So, let's create a character. So, we have the human. I'm sorry, but that still kind of looks like a woman to me. Just saying. So, we have the human, uh, which is the human, the avian, the birds. The Apex, the Apes, the Florin. Now the one thing about this game is that the Florins are known as real savages, real hunters, you know. They like to kill and hunt for the fun of it. And those look like the roses from Ib. Thumbs up if you like, if you've seen that. And I will play it. I will play that game. Uh, the High Loader, which I guess is a fish? A glitch was a robot race that became sentient. And the Nova Kid. Oh man, the Nova Kid just looks cool. Can we change the color? We can. Uh, let's go. Let's go with the Nova Kid. Cause that came in the new update, and uh, I've never seen him before. So we'll make him orange. Give him. Uh, oh yeah, that hair. I love that hair. Uh, that looks like a good shirt. Don't like this personality. I'm going to change it right now. You know what? Just so I can see better, I'll do that. Hmm. You know what? The Nova Kid appears to have a more kind of western, outbackish kind of look to his outfit. He's got the jeans with the belt buckle. He's got the ja the leather jacket on, the suspenders. He seems very western, if you ask me. Bless me. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, sure, why not? Personality. Yeah, we'll wait. Belly button. Belly button. I can't see the belly button. Ooh, reticle, I like that. Let's make that blue. And... Yeah. That's beautiful. Let's change the personality. <coughs> I like that. So let's come up with a good name for him. Let's give a couple of a... Lactobannon. Hmm. I don't know. Nitro rust. Nitro. Oops. Ether. Nitro ether. Yeah. I like that. Hey, I don't remember how I got here. My ship has been damaged. I need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Alright. Sounds good. Well, that's new. Is it new? It's been so long since I played Star, but I don't know if that was actually added in the new update. I guess we have to reboot that. It actually looks creepy. 
Oh, he lost. He, he's not a unicorn. Maybe he's a unicorn in disguise because he had a horn. Oh well. Repair ships thrusters. Twenty. What? 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 What's a core fragment? Matter manipulator. All right. I want you to pick up, move, and collect objects. Okay, so I remember that much. So the matter manipulator basically allows you to... It's basically like um, the ultimate tool, but it moves slow at first. Uh, enable teleporter. Okay. The first thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least, I'll need a flashlight, but there's should be some other supplies in there, too. Alright. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh, we got a couple of guns. That's new. You used to get um, just a single sword, if I remember correctly. It's time to make a crafting table. I should beam down to the planet and use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood. Then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I'll need. Alright. Yeah, you, uh, when you started out, you used to only have a single um, sword. Was it a single sword or did they give you two? Okay. Let's beam down and see what we're dealing with. Alpha Alfeca 233B. So. Chop, 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 chop. The first thing you'll notice is that it may seem a little like Terraria. The difference is the difficulty curve is nowhere near <laughs> as steep as Terraria. If you've ever played Terraria, you know what I'm talking about. The level of difficult, like you can start off really easy and then all of a sudden you get demolished by some pirates moving in from the west or east or whatever. And that's why I haven't played Terraria in a long time uh, because it just got way too difficult too quickly and I didn't have time to prepare myself. But Starbound is much more gradual. <gasps> oh, it's a cute little ladybug. Oh, well, got a little bit of lag. I don't know why. Well, I see. Oh, <gasps> cute little butterfly. There's a green meter there. Was it empty before? <gasps> oh, so I don't have ammo. But, okay, so I have energy. I have an energy. All right, so, oh, can we long range this? Nah, nah. Yeah, first try. <laughs> All right, so we we're supposed to craft a, uh, what ingredients do I need for that? Because I'm pretty sure that takes wood. Um, We're not going to worry about that. Grab a couple of planks. How many does it require? 35? Um, 36. <laughs> Great, I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can't make with my bare hands. Plant fibers can be used to fashion bandages in case I get hurt. I should chop down some vines to obtain plant fibers and turn them into a bandage by hand. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Alright, so... Huh. <gasps> Ooh, we got some freaking. Now, because my spacebar doesn't work, I have to use the. V I'm using the V. And it's. Huh. Plant fibers. Those look weird. I thought plant fibers used to be. What? Okay, so. Like I said, it's been a while since I played Starbound, so. F forgive me if. So forgive me, experts, if I am starting out really noobish. Okay, plant fibers. Let's just grab a couple. We can make. It doesn't take much to make a bandage, from what I remember. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm kind of curious though. It says LR, just L on the flashlight. So, wait, now it says R. I right clicked on it. Wait a minute. What did I do? These guys knows what's up. I can hold a flashlight but have my pistol to protect myself. That is genius. Okay, I think I have enough plant fibers though to satisfy the... Minecraft, Starbound, Rain is always a bitch. Okay. Okay, so... Bandage. How many band plant fibers? Craft, 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 craft. That wasn't too bad. I can make all sorts of things from plant fibers. From moops to cloth. To stay healthy and add to my combat effectiveness, I'll need to cook some food. I should obtain some raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow or hunting spear and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked steak. Alright. Sounds simple enough. But we'll craft a couple. We'll craft all the bandages. Actually, that was a <laughs> Uh, uh, that was bad. That was a bit of a mistake, cause I need plant fibers for a hunting bow, don't I? Oh well, there, there's some uh, right there. Oh, and I feel I should mention there's a lot of one-off games that I really enjoy doing, and you know what I'm talking about—the games that you play once just to kind of show people what they are, and you know. Kind of spread the word about them. Ow! Oh, for the love of God. Okay, where am I? Come right here. So jump. Jump up there. Boom. Shelter. Nailed it. Uh, there's lots of one-off games that I really enjoy doing. Uh, but there's not a lot that I'm finding that I really feel are good enough to oh boy that bad no we're not we're not wait uh okay uh you know what let's switch that so left mouse button we killed our first creature well actually not counting those oh that was one shot kill boom that is mad skills yeah. Uh, but no, uh, I'm running away. Die, fell beast. All right. Like I said, there's not a lot that I found that I think are really worth showing off. So that's why I'm turning to you guys. I want you to tell me what are some games that you'd like to see me play. Uh. And, you know, I play anything, you know, horror, um, really anything of this, really, I will play anything. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, bro. Um, because I'm, I don't know if you were hostile or not. Oh, man, check that out, you can see the planets. That is beautiful. Nice touch. I love when developers pay so much attention to detail and they throw little things in like that where I can see the planets as they look on the st you know as they look and I wonder if I can actually travel to those I'll probably have to repair my ship's thrusters but uh, what am I doing wandering around what's my quest again oh yeah food fight so what we're gonna do we're gonna beam up and uh, just for the heck of it, since I don't have a proper, proper base set up on the planet, I'm go I don't know why that's there. I do not. Because I don't have really any ingredients for that. Um, we'll craft a campfire because it said I need one. Uh, I need a hunting bow. I got plant fibers, I just need wood planks. Cool. How many did you need? 30 wood planks? Good God! 
Okay, so I have a hunting bow now. Um, so I wonder if time passes in real time when I'm up here versus down there. Like if I stay up here, the amount of time it would take for it to go from night to day, when I beam back down, will it still be night or will it actually be day? I mean, these guys, the developers, Chuckfish, they seem smart enough where they would just make that obvious, you know. This is how it works, you know. You stay on that ship for this many hours. That's how many hours are going to pass. And it's dark, and I can't see. Uh, uh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I do apologize for that. And... Yeah, first try. And all the respects if you get that reference. Although you should. Um. Oh, hey, day daytime. Alright, let's go. That water wasn't there before. Okay, demon water. Water is my f water is supposed to be my friend. Don't make me turn it good. I'm that bad. You look like a high lodal. Shit. And damn it. Ah! Ah! I kill creature. Make food for man. Or no, my kid. Blah. <clears throat> All right, I don't know what that was. Cook steak for man. Stone furnace. All right, um, not too difficult. We just need some cobblestone. Now, how much? How much is the key? We'll just grab a lot because we're gonna make a small shelter here, uh, so we don't have to beam up every time. Because while it is pretty actually convenient just to be able to just to beam up. Demon water! It rises again! Okay, are you are you are you friendly? I don't want to have to shoot. Oh, you're friendly. Demon water rises again! It's a good. Ah! That one's there either. Wait. Oh, it's a demon water. It's a conspiracy. Go away. I know how to fight it. I know how to fight the demon water. Oh, you are all so fucked now. <laughs> See ya, punk. <laughs> Die, demon water. Die. <laughs> I have issues. But I think we're all just a little messed up. I think we all have really some serious underlying concerns that probably need to be addressed, but not at this time. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff. Gathering some cobble. <gasps> the demon water! Like life, it always finds a way. Sneaky bastard. I don't think, not in my town. That's right. That's right, demon water, you go away. This is what happens uh, when I sit on a flight for four and a half hours doing nothing but staring off into blank space. <sighs> yep. This is what happens. I turn into a raving lunatic. But I think we're all just a little messed up. Yeah, I, I, I am sorry, guys. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me tonight. Maybe I'm just in a good mood because I'm finally back to my old recording setup. Because I've been in Ohio and you know it's great to see my friends and everything, but I really miss doing these videos. Uh, and I really miss playing these games, you know, and recording them and talking to you guys. This is kind of my medium to communicate with you guys. And, you know, you, you people are the only reason I do this. Effing, really. 
Effing, effing, wow. Wow, guys, wow. Demon water, you are one sly son of a bitch. But I think that's actually enough cobble. Uh, the fuck you looking at? You know what? I'm sorry, it has to be done. Look out, don't eat me! You know what? I guess that makes me the asshole. There was just a certain look of his eye. He died with a sense of betrayal! God! I'm a dick. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're gonna build a really, really basic shelter. Right. Here. Ah, shit. Boom. And then... Clear it out. Shut up. Stupid vulnerability scanner. <laughs> Caffy. Okay. Let's just clear all this out. We don't need no we don't need a background. Besides, you no know, background, the demon water can't find a way in. The demon water can't. Penetrator The demon water will never win. <laughs> demon water. That, is that going to be the ongoing? That's going to be the thing. That's going to be the thing. Demon water. Water is good for you kids. No, it's not. It's horrible. It wants to murderize all of us. I swear to God, I, I, I probably need to go. What is that? Is that iron? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's stick straight down, because there's no, c because unlike Minecraft, I don't have to worry about potentially falling into lava. <laughs> yeah, intriguing stuff, eh, guys? Uh, there's gonna come a point where I'm gonna have to go and uh, I'm gonna have to find those core fragments. I don't know if they're rare or what. Because that is something completely new to the update. Uh, that was it. Okay, there's building materials. Uh, that's good to know. I don't know. Was core fragments a thing beforehand? Hmm. <sighs> the demon water. Yeah, the demon water. You find a way in now. How do I get out though? I can actually beam. But there's a. There's a. Bit, bit, bit. Meh. Alrighty. Don't know why I did that, but alright. I can beam up for some reason. I need to because I need to get to my crafting table. Uh, so I can. I'm just gonna. Bring it back down with me. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to kill your friend! Oop. Maybe you didn't know anything. Maybe I just confessed to a crime I didn't need to. That would really top my day off. Okay. This is the tiniest shack ever. But it works for me. It works for me. Because we can actually stack... Furniture. Make a campfire. Well, you see, now I can't. I'm so confused. I'll grab one of those. Wait, no. What? 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 Oh, boy. What? I don't, I don't know. I don't really need a stone. I don't really need a yarn spinner because I don't really need to make clothes. I need to start getting better tools. I'm gonna survive down here. I should start by making use of a furnace and smelting some copper ore to paint a copper bar. The deeper in the ground I go, the more likely I am to find ore. Burr. And we'll place that right there. All right, we're good to go. We got a crafting table, and we got a furnace, and we got a pretty good start here. Um, 
except for the demon water that attempts to kill us all. But thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, then a rating would be much appreciated. And this is the new series. This is the new ongoing series and replacement of Minecraft. And in that sucks because I really like Test Pack Speed more. So, until next time, my friends, peace out.